few short weeks ago, my workout routine looked something like this. I'd drive to the gym for a cardio class, meet up with friends there, and usually get coffee after. But currently that is not an option in quarantine. So I decided to make this my gym. Honestly, when all of this quarantine and shelter in place began, I had zero to no motivation to work out every single day and be active. So I decided to think of it more of an experiment and dedicate the entire month of April. Now, obviously I was doing this in the comfort of my own home and I was using my husband's Nintendo Switch. He had previously bought me a game called Zumba Burn It Up. This game, unsponsored by the way, lets you feel like you are in a Zumba class. They have a plethora of different songs as well as 15 minute short classes, 30 minute medium classes and 60 minute long classes. Also to make it feel like you are playing a game, you hold a remote in your hand and you do all of the movements mirroring what you see on the screen and the remote can tell based on your movements how closely you are following the choreography and the movement and how close you are depicts a score. The top score is five stars and you can see this little circle meter around your avatar every time you do moves correctly, more of the circle is filled in and once you get all the way around 360 degrees, you get a star. So you go around five times, you get five stars, and that song gives you a perfect score. But doing it every single day is more than I even did before quarantine. Before quarantine, I would only go to the gym two to three days a week and see friends and typically go and eat right after, probably defeating the purpose. But during this challenge, I observed two other major rules. First of all, I intermittent fasted. If you don't know what that means, it means I ate within a specific window of time, which was really helpful in quarantine when I wanted to snack late at night and just eat an obsessive amount of calories just out of either boredom or stress. And then on top of intermittent fasting, I was also using the app MyFitnessPal to track all of the food that I was eating. I was tracking it not for weight loss completely, just to see what was I eating each day. Was I making sure that I was eating healthy, 80% of the time, I will have a video on intermittent fasting and my results with my fitness pal in the future. So make sure if you have not yet done so, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified each and every time a future upload happens. Also stay tuned till the end of this video because I will show you my before and after on the scale and body profile so you can see if there's a difference when doing Zumba every single day for 30 days. But let's review each week of this challenge. Week one, I weighed in at 157 pounds. I was really excited to start this experiment, so I was typically doing 60 minute classes each and every day. My mentality during week one was really positive. I had something to look forward to each and every day outside of being on endless Zoom calls, all staff meetings, still teaching online and remotely teaching my brick and mortar kids, which is a lot. If you are a teacher watching this, so many props to you guys. This is the hardest thing I have ever done and I'm sure you guys are in the same boat as well. I thought of my time doing Zumba more like a self-care hour and less of a I need to work out today hour because it was something I was looking forward to and I felt like it ultimately was taking care of me because frankly speaking, I wasn't in a classroom chasing around K through eight kids all day and going to recess duty and lunch duty. So my activity level was really, really low my first month in quarantine. So it was made up for doing an hour of Zumba each and every day during week one. It was also in the first week that I was able to do my hour of Zumba either right after online teaching or later in the afternoon around three or four o'clock. It really didn't matter matter to me because I looked forward to it. I laid out my workout clothes or sometimes I put them on first thing in the morning knowing I was working out and already having the clothes on was just another way of saying I am committing to this and I am doing this. And I'll be very honest, I did pretend a lot of the times that I was in a class. Even if it was just me right here, I would push that coffee table closer to the piano. My screen was here and I would just follow with my remote and do a full hour of Zumba. I would envision that my friends were next to me. The song Songs were playing really loud. I'm sure my neighbors loved that and my husband who was upstairs probably loved hearing all the Zumba music, but it worked for me and it got me through week one. Week two was where the excitement started to wear off. It started to hit me that this was more of an experiment and I was gonna continue doing it. It wasn't just a one week and done thing. It was a full month of Zumba. It was also at this point, I had to schedule the workouts in the morning because even if I was dressed, I would have a really hard time finding the motivation to work out in the afternoon and evening. And even if I did, I noticed my workouts weren't that good because I wasn't putting in the same amount of effort. So I wasn't burning the same amount of calories. If I didn't mention it before, I was 
was tracking all of my calories burned during each workout on my Fitbit, and I will get to my average burn in just a second. It was also in week two that I bought myself a bike, and I was trying to figure out the best way to average bike time and Zumba time, so every once in a while I would do a 30 minute Zumba instead of a 60, and I would go out and do a half hour to 45 minute bike ride. That way I was still getting an hour of exercise while still honoring my Zumba every single day for a month. Now after weeks one and two, I did discover that my average burn on the Fitbit for an hour of Zumba was between 580 and 650 calories, depending on the intensity, because each Zumba Burn It Up class has a low, medium, or high intensity, and then how much effort I was exerting throughout the workouts. Side note, I also noticed how much laundry is done when you are working out every single day. And quick shout out to my husband who was also working out with me every single day. He was doing a different game on the Nintendo Switch called Ring Fit Adventure. He has lost over 30 pounds. I'll let him explain that in a future video if he wants to, but he has done a fantastic job staying in shape during quarantine. Props to him. But when you and your spouse are both working out on a daily basis and you don't wanna wear sweaty tops and bottoms more than once, you compile a lot of laundry. Just something that I noticed on the side. I wish I could say it got easier during week three, but honestly, I was losing more and more motivation. I was memorizing these routines. I was honestly trying to find ways to change up the choreography while tricking the remote into thinking I was doing the correct choreography. So I was still doing the workouts. I was still burning the calories, but you know, you do the same things every single time and you just kind of get bored with it. You don't have a friend next to you to you know commiserate with. It's just you in your house. But for the sake of this experiment, I kept going. I pushed through it. I made sure not to do 60 minutes every single day. I switched it up with bike riding and long walks. And then honestly, I just thought to myself, you're getting closer to week four, you'll finish this, you'll do one full month of Zumba and then we can switch it up. I had started collecting other workouts from Pop Sugar Fitness, Mad Fit, a bunch of other YouTube channels. If you know of any good workout YouTube channels that give out great free content and workouts, put it down below in the comment section. I would love to see it. I am gonna start incorporating other things because doing Zumba every day is a lot, but we'll get to that at the end. All in all, what got me through week three was just the idea of completing what I started and remembering that I was working out more now in quarantine than I ever was as a full-time teacher going into class every day and going to Zumba two to three times a week. I was working out so much more and I was kind of intrigued to stick with it, see the results. And honestly, it was in week three that I started to notice my genes were fitting better. All in all, it was the end of week three, right in the middle of April. I was experiencing high highs and low lows, just a lot of emotional roller coastering, wondering when this was going to be over. We did get the news that week that we teachers were not going back to school for this academic school year, and that hit me and my teaching staff really hard. But week three, probably my hardest week, and then we get to week four. Hey guys, it is the beginning of week four, my final week of doing Zumba every single day. Today, I was going to do a half hour Zumba and walk outside, but it is pouring out right now, the last week of April, of course. So I'm gonna be doing an hour of Zumba. I always set my Fitbit on 60 minutes of cardio. I think I have most of these memorized now because I have done them every single day. And for those people asking, Kristen, how are you only washing your hair once a week when you do this very sweaty cardio every day? Put my hair in these buns off my neck and this bun is twisted and is pinned back. That hair is not moving. Here we go, on to week four of Zumba. Honestly, week four was great because I knew it was the very last week in this experiment. I was going to be done. I could document it here in this video and it was just completing something I started, which honestly in quarantine is a huge accomplishment, at least for me. All right, you guys, that class is done. So I've officially started the fourth and final week of this challenge for a total of 632 calories for that workout. That in week four is awesome. I do think, and I'll check my records, I think I burnt more calories in the beginning of this month when I wasn't as used to these workouts. Now I feel like I have a majority of them memorized and it's just a really nice feeling to know, hey, this might be an hour, but it's the hour I dedicate to me and my fitness. And yes, I am home in quarantine, but I still rather be in an actual dance class with my friends. Yes, but 
during the time that we have to be inside and shelter in place, this will do 632 calories on low intensity. And like I said before, I had noticed that my clothes were fitting better. The items I saw that fit better mainly were my jeans. I was going down from a size eight to 10 down to a size six. If you follow me on Instagram or the community tab here on YouTube, I posted a picture of me in a size six Sunday cocktail dress on Easter morning. That dress did not fit last year at all in any way, shape or form. I couldn't zip it, my husband couldn't zip it. This year, honestly, was just trying to find motivation, inspiration. You see yourself in the mirror every single day. You don't see a change unless you are comparing to either pictures over time or clothing over time. And I thought to myself, it's April, what can I use as a mile marker? So I went to the closet in my office, I saw that polka dot dress, I pulled it out, tried it on, zipped it up, and I remember just standing there and staring at it like, what happened? Is this real? And I went downstairs and I had to confirm to my husband, am I wearing the dress? Is it all the way zipped? I could sit, I could stand, it was awesome. So pants were fitting better. I was going down from a size 10 to a size six. And honestly, this is not TMI, my undergarments, my underwear was fitting better. That and my sweaters were getting far too big. I did try an experiment of shrinking my sweaters and underwear. I put them all in a wash with hot water and I ran the dryer cycle twice. Half of them shrank and the other half did nothing. So I donated them because I was literally swimming in them. During week four, I also was completing more 60 minute classes. I feel like, again, it was the last week of the experiment. I wanted good results. I was still tracking my fitness pal. I was still intermittent fasting. And then the fact I was seeing results through my clothes I thought to myself, just keep pushing, get through this week. And then May 1st came and I woke up, walked my scale, got on and saw the numbers 152. I lost five pounds in a month doing Zumba every single day. But honestly, I feel like I gained a lot of muscle, especially because some of the Zumba classes as well as biking was developing a lot of muscles in my thighs and my calf area. And unless I'm going crazy, I think I'm seeing the beginning of abs. Like they're there somewhere. Maybe someday I'll find them. In my opinion, five pounds during quarantine is a really great accomplishment, especially since I wasn't getting those steps I was usually getting in the classroom and I was more sedentary working upstairs in my office all day. And honestly, my Fitbit was tracking my calories, but it also tracked the steps I got during Zumba class. So it would track, you know, you did this, you burnt 600 calories and you got 8,000 steps. So I was able to keep up with my step goals during this time as well, but I was mainly focused on just coming down here, moving the coffee table and doing a Zumba class. Some were 60 minutes, some were 30 minutes, and every once in a while I'd pop in a 15 minute class and that'd be the only thing I did for Zumba for the day. I think I did that about four or five times. Usually on days I did really long walks, the day that Christopher and I biked all the way down the Scioto River and back, just to make sure I turned it on, heard that music and went with it and did the class. Now during this process, I did keep a list of pros and cons throughout the four weeks. My top pros are it's a great at-home option. Obviously we can't go anywhere, the gyms are closed. It does typically yield a high calorie burn, which is awesome. And my final pro is that it is easy to set up. Again, I just moved my coffee table, turned on the Nintendo Switch and grabbed a remote. I clicked right over to Zumba Burn It Up. One time I didn't save my husband's Animal Crossing and the world ended again. And my top cons with doing this for the month is it can get boring. I was memorizing those routines, like I said. Uh, the remote can sometimes be faulty. And there wasn't a large selection of known music. They had maybe two or three songs like Level Up and I like it. Those might be the only two songs I knew outside of this. There were some songs that I will say that matched songs I did in class. Like when me and my friends would go to Zumba, we would do this song. And then in doing this experiment, I found really quickly that that same song was here. Also, if you're watching this and wondering if Zumba Burn It Up is for you, I said this was not sponsored, so I don't feel bad saying this and I didn't post this, but if you YouTube search Zumba Burn It Up, someone, and it's not me, so do not come for me, Nintendo, somebody is uploading the short 15 minute versions of this game. I am not going to post it down below and I'm not going to put it in the comments, but if one of you guys put it in the comments or you searched Zumba Burn It Up, you may see this game 
on your screen for free. I said nothing. Tough changes that I noticed in my body. My cardio stamina is up. I am starting to see more muscle definition throughout my body. I feel like this is the best way, as someone who's an actor, this is the best way to keep active daily, uh, practice your dancing, because before you know it, when this lifts, audition season's going to be coming, and you're gonna have to be singing, acting, and dancing, and the fact that I've been keeping up, hopefully that'll make the dancing portion just a little bit easier. And the last part I kept track of is what's next. I wrote that I wanna learn about and incorporate weight training. I do not lift weights. I have a set of weights I ordered off of Amazon. They're upstairs. It's a set of three pound, five pound, and eight pound. I don't really know what to do with them. So I'm gonna learn. That's next on my list for the month of May. I, I wanna develop a self-made workout and a weekly workout schedule. Cause I don't wanna do Zumba every day. I wanna try a Pilates class, uh, maybe a yoga once a week, some weight training. And I, I do like cardio. I want to keep doing it because obviously it yields results. Uh, and then I wrote, keep working toward my ultimate goal, which is 135 pounds. So that is roughly 17 more pounds to go. So we've still got a ways to go, but when I started at 165 down to 152, very, very pleased with that. If you guys want more before and after videos where I talk about going from 165 down to where I am now, let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a huge thumbs up. That is it, that is my results and my body transformation with doing Zumba every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, make sure to subscribe for my future intermittent fasting video and my fitness pal video. I will also have other fitness challenges coming in the future. Again, if there's anything you wanna see, let me know down below in the comment section and also let me know what are your goals for the month of May or the summer of 2020. Are we still in quarantine when you watch this? Or are you watching this well in the future when it's over? Let me know down below in the comments. Carry on, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.